Hazamil Mormineen, Aizala bin Aziz, blessed the European Parliament in Brussels a couple of weeks ago with his presence and historic address. Here is a report of that momentous day. On 4th December 2012, the worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mizam Masroor Ahmad, may Allah strengthen his hands, was given a special invitation to the House of the Parliamentary Institution of the European Union, the European Parliament, in Brussels, Belgium. The institution that began in 1952 as the Common Assembly has since grown to become an international political legislative power and a judiciary assembly that guides 27 member states that fall under the European Union. As part of a campaign to spread peace and increase human efforts across wider communities, the EU Parliament granted a special invitation to His Holiness to discuss the role the Ahmadiyya Muslim community plays across its varying nations and the propagation of peace in today's society. Upon arrival, His Holiness held a private sitting with various distinguished representatives of the European Parliament, including Marina Yanakoudakis, Conservative MEP for London, Tuna Kellam, EPP MEP for Estonia, Dr Timothy Charles Ayrton Tanak, Conservative MEP for London, and other distinguished parliamentary members. His Holiness explained the situation of persecution against the community in many South Asian countries, receiving sympathy and support from the various MEPs. Your community is not just restricted to the United Kingdom, there are uh, Ahmadi Muslims in other European countries, so we're trying to raise the issue uh, of the good work that's done by your community internationally in the European Union. But there is a serious problem in Pakistan, and I contrast it with the um, situation in Bangladesh, where in recent years, uh, you know, your community uh, have prospered and uh, attacks on your community have diminished or gone away altogether. Uh, and it's completely different from Pakistan, where unfortunately the situation is still very serious. The following day, the community held a press conference in the confines of the European Parliament press room. The conference was presided by Dr. Charles Tanak, His Holiness, and the national president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in the UK, Mr. Rafiq Ahmadiyyad. Dr. Tanak gave a brief introduction to the community and His Holiness, following which His Holiness spoke about the role of the community in propagating the true teachings of Islam. His Holiness then answered questions from a range of media outlets representing the UK, Spain, France, Belgium, Pakistan, and many other countries. In response to a question from the BBC about Islam's role in the world, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah strengthen his hands, explained that Islam's core message was of peace. His Holiness said, Islam's message of peace is universal, which is why our motto is love for all, hatred for none. His Holiness said that in an effort to promote interfaith harmony, he had recently sent a hand-delivered letter to Pope Benedict XVI, saying that people of different faiths should look at the common factors that unite them, rather than focusing only on differences. Leaving the 40-minute press conference, His Holiness was immediately taken to a conference hall for the main discourse at the Parliament building. The 350-seater complex was packed full of distinguished guests, members of the European Parliament, and distinguished members of the community awaiting the address of the spiritual leader of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. The session was chaired by Dr. Charles Tanak, Conservative MEP for London. Distinguished speakers included Mr. Tuna Kellam, EPP MEP for Estonia, Baroness Ludford, Liberal Democrat MEP for London, Mr. Claude Maurice, Labour MEP for London, Mrs. Jean Lambert, Green Party MEP for London, and Mr. Rafiq Ahmadiyyad, National President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, UK. The National President gave a history of the community and its current activities in human rights and service to humanity. He spoke of its moral and spiritual beliefs and what it has to offer to the multicultural society of the world today. The keynote address was delivered by His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, may Allah strengthen his hands, who spoke about the true teachings of Islam, the rejuvenation of Islam through the advent of the promised Messiah, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, and the community he founded, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. He spoke about the foundations of peace that begin within the confines of the home and how this has an enduring effect on the local and subsequently larger community and nation. The basic building block for peace in society is tranquility and harmony within the family home. The situation within a home is not limited but has a knock-on effect on the peace of the local area, which in turn affects the peace of the wider town or city. If there is disturbance in home, it will negatively affect the local area and that will affect the town or city. Towards the end of the speech delivered by His Holiness, the session was honoured by the presence of the President of the European Parliament, Mr. Martin Schulz, who attended the final 10 minutes of the speech delivered by His Holiness and shook hands with His Holiness as a gesture of support. 
His Holiness presented the President with a gift to thank him for the show of good faith on behalf of the community. The session marked the inauguration of a new committee of the EU Parliament, the Committee of the European Friends of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Group, a committee formed to assist in the human rights and justice of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community worldwide. It is a sign of the times that one of the central governing bodies of the modern world grants its support towards this spiritual community guided by God Almighty. This is Musavar Hiyad reporting for MT International UK Studios from London.